All right, guys, so uh, back in North Wales today. Um, not on Anglesey this time, I'm on the Lynn Peninsula, which is like a little bit more south. Uh, just got my lure fishing gear today. Got my sort of like medium rod for casting far and trying to get some mackerel or pollock and then my LRF rod as well, which is, I bought this yesterday actually, so hopefully that's good. Be nice to test this out today. But yeah, never actually fished here before, so don't know what it's going to be like, but I can just have a cast and uh, see what happens, can And if, if I don't catch anything around here, I'll probably head to Anglesey and uh, fish there a bit later on. But yeah, looks like a good spot anyway. Lots of kelp, so should be some pollock, should be some rats about. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh yeah, there's plenty of kelp out there. <laughs> See if we get a bit of distance with a spoon and catch something on this. Nice distance. <laughs> Oh, there's a fish. First cast. I think it might be off. Oh no, we've got one. That was the first cast. A bit further out than I was fishing with the uh, LRF rod. And literally took it, like, <laughs> as soon as I started winding, to be honest. So, yes. Might not be doing too much LRF fishing today then see what this is it's pulling quite hard don't feel like a huge fish but that sun's bright I wish I brought my sunglasses see what this is oh it's pulling a bit harder now what we got oh mackerel first cast mackerel beauty mackerel as well oh That's a big mackerel. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Whoa. Man, just like a little tuna. Oh, he's off. So, looks like we might be getting a few of these today if I've had that first cast, but that's a quality mackerel, that. Get that put back. <laughs> and first cast, little mackerel pattern. Got covered in mackerel scales now, but that was sick. It's actually the first mackerel I've ever caught that. Not that I've ever fished from before, but so yeah. Could well be a mackerel shawl out there. <laughs> I think we may have a small fish on it. Yeah, it feels like there's something small on it. Probably a little pollock, I'd say. Oh. oh, I think I just knocked it off then. Oh no, it's still on. And it's into weed. No, knocked it off on the weed. There's a fish. Yes, I just whacked it. Oh no, it's gone into weed. Oh, we're out, we're out, we're out the weed. Whoa, this is a fighter. <laughs> See what this is? That was quite close in that as well. What we got this time? Another mackerel. Oh no, pollock this time. Whoa. 
That nail that then absolutely whacked it. Oh, not the best place to get up to Mr. Mackerel. Sorry about that. Uh, Pollock, sorry, not Mackerel. But, whoa. Little tiny Pollock, but it's gone back. <laughs> Second fish of the day. That was close, very close in that. And he just stomped it. Last cast with this spoon for now, I think, and then have a few casts with the LRF rod, see if I can pull some of these pollock out of this kelp. The spoon might be a bit big for him, to be honest, if there's any small ones about. Oh, there's fish. There we go. Yes, barely moved that. Feels all right as well, actually. Oh, it feels like a mackerel again, maybe. <laughs> Pulling hard enough. Yes. Just nailed it, like. Whoa. Moved it probably like two feet or something and it just wailed on it. Let's see what this is. Good hard fighter. Oh. Sun's annoying because it's right where I'm fighting these fish. What we got? Where is it? Uh, another mackerel. Just a little one this time. Well, second mackerel of the day. This little guy or not and get him put back. Whoa. It's more along the size I was expecting to catch him, to be honest. So, there definitely might be a shoal of mackerel out there today. Wash these scales off. Well guys, the uh, GoPro just ran out of battery, but it's got this nice little pollock. Um, literally ran out of battery mid-cast and just got this like right near the edge. So pretty happy with that. So two pollock, two mackerel so far. Chuck this guy back, hopefully get some more. Another few casts with the old LRF rod. Got a little curly tail eco gear Paramax on that. Should be perfect for these little pollock. And if they're not too far out like that last one, definitely within casting range with this. Just whether I can get it through the kelp. Come on. Oh, I just had one follow it. <laughs> Must have just followed that right out of that snag then. And that was like 10 foot from the bank. Let's see if we get it, to, get it to take. Just up to another fish, guys. This one smashed it while it was sat on bottom some, for some reason. I just let it sit, hit the bottom, left it for about five seconds and this just nailed it. Well strange. But the tide is definitely coming in now, so hopefully the bites will pick up.
see what we've got here. It feels like a mackerel for the way it's running. Looks sick in water. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a mackerel. So nice and shiny. What? Oh, another beauty. Another big one. There we go, mackerel number three. That's the first cast I've had out into deep water for ages, to be honest. So, yeah, stoked with that. Well, guys, something I didn't want to do was uh, <laughs> put mackerel feathers on, but just did first cast pollock after not having a fish for a while. So, that's interesting. <laughs> Never actually used mackerel feathers before, so yeah, pretty cool, I guess. Man, sharp enough fox. Right, there we go. Then another little tiny pollock. But not like proper mackerel feathers. Forgot what they're called to be honest, but they work. So. See if we can get some more. That was the first cast though after using spoon and jigs and everything, passed it over exactly the same bit of water and nailed these. So yeah, guess there's some in that. <coughs> well guys just moved around the corner a little bit, hooked this uh, tiny little carquin wrasse and a little uh, micro lure, so yeah. Pretty sick. First first fish on the LRF rod. So happy with that. Let's get a quick picture. Quick picture getting put back. So I watched him follow it up and then just sort of dropped the lure to the bottom and then just yeah nailed it on the bottom. So pretty sick. First rats from this peg, so that's three species today. Well guys, just finally hooked up again. I was just about to move to Anglesey to be honest because I haven't had fish in ages. But I just hooked them up absolutely tiny. So we'll see what we got. I'm guessing small pollock. That's what it looks like. So yeah, not bad. Ugh, barely felt that bite then to be honest. Well yeah, another little pollock. Surprised these guys aren't biting LRF lures, they're just biting this big spoon. It's uh, weird. Nice little fish, anyway. Whoops, he's gone back. <laughs> Last cast, I think, anyway, even though I've just caught a fish and then I think I'll have a move. <sighs> See, it has been a little slow today. Alright guys, so after like a two hour drive, finally made it to my next spot. Um, very windy and there's a lot of swell on. So it's definitely going to be harder fishing. But hopefully we catch something. We'll just see how it goes. A lot more colour in the water here as well. Um, I've never actually caught a fish out of this peg before either. So yeah, let's we'll see what happens. Might be quite hard today without much swell there actually is. There is a lot around here. 